Hello there. Doing a EDF test. I've got a 68mm 5 blade fan. Uh, I've had this one a while, uh, but I fitted it with a Turnergy 4400kV heli motor. Uh, it says 600 watts, um, but I'm running it quite a bit more than that. And I'm running it on a 4 cell. I've got a Turnergy 2200 milliamp. I think it's 45C 4 cell and a Turnergy AE 65 amp ESC. I've got it on my thrust rig, uh, it's just my bodged up EDF rig on the thrust rig. And let's see what numbers we get, let's see what thrust we get. Here we go. with a uh, 55 millimeter exit on the thrust tube so let's see what we get on what meter okay 57.1 amps 782 watts so probably uh, cut that tube a bit less and get get a bit more thrust out of that Run that again. Bit more of a burst that time. Let's see what we get there. Fifty eight amps, eight hundred and seven watts. Oh, that's pretty good. Get about almost 1200 grams of thrust there and yeah pretty good amount of watts I've, I've done a few tests with this motor it seems to be coping with that power okay at the moment and in uh, I mean in flight it should be kept a lot cooler so that was the 68 mil 5 blade fan test on 4 cell with Turner G 4400 kV honey motor Alright, second test I'm doing is with a Hobby King 70mm 6 bladed fan. Uh, I've still got the same ESC, I haven't put the wire, made any wire extensions on it yet, so the ESC is just hanging off there, not secured properly. Um, I'm running it on the 2100kV uh, Tenergy EDF motor, and I'm running it on my new uh, Zippy 2650 milliamp 6 cell. Uh, I haven't given this a proper run up yet, so I don't know what this is going to do. I haven't put a thrust tube on it yet. I wanted to see what it did without a thrust tube. Um, and that's the setup there. Got it in my watt meter. Um, I've had to tape this little 1300 milliamp 3 cell to the end of me t uh, thrust test rig just to bounce balance out the weight of the six cell because it's pretty heavy so that's got on that on there to balance the weight out in case you're wondering okay let's give this a throttle up i hope this isn't too much thrust and uh, i think the test rig here is gonna take it <laughs> See what we've got on the watt meter. Forty-four point three seven amps, nine hundred and ninety-one watts. Nearly a thousand watts there. Forty-four amps on six cell. It's a little. It's warm. It's not hot, but it's warm. That's 
that was quite a lot of thrust there. That was um got it, got it balanced pretty well. Just put some of my double sided tape on the inside of the the uh, fan rotor. Got it balanced up pretty well. I only needed one bit in there and it was balanced quite well. But uh yeah, so that's 44 odd amps. So with a thrust tube on there, that should uh, go down a little bit uh, along with the watts. So it should be about perfectly right, really, for that motor on 6L. Although I may not run uh, that battery with it. That 2650 milliamp battery is for my hex jet. I'm going to be running my hex jet on 6L at some point soon. Um, so I'll probably be getting a, I think, a, I mean, if it's only running at 40 odd amps, it, I'll probably be alright with a 2200 milliamp, or maybe get a 2450 milliamp, something like that. Something a bit lighter than that big 2650 milliamp 6L. So, that was the 70 mil fan. That would be a, a nice... Go, that would go in something nice. It'd be another project to do. I've got so many projects I need to do at the moment. I've got too much stuff and not enough planes to get for them to go into. But yeah, I'll be getting a smaller battery for that. So I think that will run pretty well with that. Uh, a smaller battery with a thrust tube on should be about perfectly right. Okay, see ya.